Okay, the Hamilton County School Board is weighing the cost of using more independent bus contractors. That's right, those contractors own and drive their own buses. Brittany Martin joins us now to tell us how it could save the district money. Brittany. Josh Kim, right now the district spends $15 million a year on busing, but 11 million of that goes to Durham Bus Services. They're a big company that hires drivers. Tonight, local operators made their case for why they should have more routes. Since the Woodmore bus tragedy in November, many have questioned the safety and efficiency of Hamilton County's bus system. Tonight, the board discussed phasing out Durham bus services and bringing in more independent contractors. Durham hired the driver involved in the deadly crash that killed six students. One owner operator says he and other owners are more invested in children's safety. We invest in our equipment. We are sure that it is in good condition. Jerry Green is a bus owner and operator for Hamilton County. He and others were there tonight to see if the county will give them more routes. He says most of their drivers have at least 15 years of experience. We choose to transport students to and from school. We do it year in and year out, normally in the same location, and the students, parents, grandparents, me for instance, rode my bus. 45 years ago, so they know who's taking their students to school every day. Right now, the board wants to give them 100 more routes. With that, Green says they want more money per day and health benefits. We've kind of gone backwards on being able to update equipment and things of that nature because of the loss of compensation we used to receive. Tonight, Christy Jordan told the board moving to independent contractors could save them $2 million a year. She's in charge of the district's budget, but some of those drivers are part time. If they insure them, they might have to insure all part-time workers in the district. We're insuring their spouse's independence too, so we're insuring about nine or ten thousand dollars. The board voted to extend the contract with those drivers for four more years. They'll vote on a request for proposal this coming Saturday. That's a formal request for any bus companies to apply to work for the school system. Kim. Brittany, thank you. Tonight, the school board did not decide whether it would accept bonds from the county commission to pay for a new track at Central High School. Instead, they tabled the decision until a later date.